Hi, my name is Lanny and I'm a library associate at the Henderson County Clint W. Murkison Memorial Library. In the 21st century, libraries are no longer only offering resources that you can physically hold in your hands. Now library patrons have access to electronic content, or e-content, that is transforming and expanding their reading experiences in exciting new ways. This e-content includes electronic books, or e-books, and electronic audiobooks, or e-audiobooks. This electronic content is available for download through the OverDrive or Libby app, which are also available for download. If you're using an Android device, you will be using the Play Store to find the OverDrive app. If you are using an Apple device, you will be using the App Store to find the Libby app. The Henderson County Library provides digital collection access through OverDrive. Each year, the library pays $6,000, which will allow library card holders to access the e-content at no charge. The digital collection offers many positives, including no accumulation of late fees and no risk of physical contamination, which has had a huge impact on electronic resource checkouts during the COVID-19 pandemic. According to statistical data provided by the library director, Michelle Zener, during the 10 weeks of closure in 2020, Henderson County Overdrive and Libby users checked out a total of 2,200 plus electronic resources. In the entirety of 2021, there were a total of 11,000 plus electronic resources checked out from across 394 users through the Overdrive platform. The e-content provided by the OverDrive platform weighs nothing and makes numerous resources portable at all at once. Perfect for on-the-go travel, and the content is available 24-7. There are customizable options that benefit the reader, so you will be able to make your OverDrive Libby experience completely personal. For my presentation, I am going to be using the Libby app since I am using an Apple iPad, but OverDrive users can follow along with this tutorial as well. When you first open the app, you will be greeted with this message asking if you have a library card. Click yes if you already have a Henderson County library card. If you don't have a Henderson County library card, please feel free to stop by the library to get your card. On the next screen, after you click yes, you will be greeted with three options. Copy from another device, search for a library, and guess my library. The guess my library option is the quickest way to get a library information but it requires Libby to access your location. You're more than welcome to select this option if you're comfortable with allowing that access. For this tutorial, I will be selecting Search for a Library. On this screen, you will have the option to enter the library name, city, or zip code. Let's look up the zip code, 75751. You should see the option of Northeast Texas Digital Consortium. This is the option that you will select. This next screen will allow you to sign in with your card. Sign in with my card. So, um, our library is not here, so we are going to select C74 more, and we will scroll down until we find the Henderson County Library. Here you will be prompted to enter your library card number, which can be found on the back of your Henderson County Library card beneath the barcode. 210277 and then click next. You will also need to enter your PIN, which is your last name in all lowercase letters. And once you have located your library card number and entered that and your PIN, you can now sign in to your Libby account. It'll give you your library card that you can use for Libby. At the top of your home page, you will notice that there are collections consisting of books that have been just added, books that are popular, books that are available now, and you can also browse by subject. Your far left icon, right here, it's a magnifying glass, allows you to search for a particular author or title. I'm going to look for Tiffany D. Jackson. In some cases, you might have to type the entire title or author name, but usually there will be this list that you're seeing now that will predict which book or author you're looking for. Here's Tiffany G. Jackson, so let's click on her name. Here's a list of all of Jackson's books that are available to me through Libby. Let's check out Monday's Not Coming. 
oh, someone has it checked out already. It looks like I will have to wait two weeks to get this book because it's checked out to one other person. Um, so I'm going to put it on reserve. I'm not in any hurry for it. I'm going to place my hold. Okay, so Libby has let me know that I have placed Monday's Not Coming is on hold. And then I'm going to look for another book. So I'm going to keep browsing. And this time, instead of searching, I'm going to go back to the home page. And I see that there's this book, The Five Wounds, that is part of the book club for Libby. And I think I want to try that out. I'm going to read that. So I'm going to click Borrow. And I, it is available, so I am able to borrow it. And Libby has let me know that I have it borrowed for 14 days. I'm going to go back to my home page. And in order to see the books that I have on hold or have borrowed, I'm going to click the second icon from the right, this little book stack that's right here. So this is going to show me the book that I have on hold, which would be right up here. So Monday's not coming, and I still have two weeks to wait for that. And then my books that I have borrowed right here, The Five Wounds. So I'm ready to read. I'm going to click this first option, Read With. I don't have a Kindle, so I'm just gonna read on Libby. And this book, this is gonna be the cover, so I can swipe from right to left to go further into the book. Get, there's the dedication, and here's part one. If I tap the screen once, there are some customizable options at the top. This A is going to, you can change your text size. You can change the lighting on the back if you want a white screen or a dark screen. And then you can also change the way the book looks if you want to read the paperback version or a scholar version. To get out of the book, I'm going to tap the screen one more time and go back. Now I'm back to my borrowed books. There's also the option to manage your loan where you can return your book early if you need to, if you complete it before the two weeks. And then the last, or the icon on the far right, which is a clock, it will show you your timeline. And it'll tell you when you checked a book out or when you placed a book on hold in case you're waiting for something important. And then lastly, if you want to personalize your notifications or add another library card, you can click this middle icon right here. It's just three lines. You can manage the notifications you receive from Libby by clicking on this. Allow Libby to send you notifications, and then you can figure out which ones you want and which ones you don't. And then you can also, if you have another access through Libby from another library, you can do the same steps that I showed you a few minutes ago and just add a library and go back through the same steps. So that's the tutorial of how to log into and go through Libby. I hope that it helped.